Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Delia. Hello, Richard. Hello, Suleyma. Oh. Hello, Amilcar. Hello, Lenny. Hello. Hello, Enrique. Hello, Jessica Perez. Hi. How are you, everybody? Me pueden ver? Sí. Ahora sí. Hoy sí. Ayer andaba perdido en el mundo. <laughs> Hello, Neida Santos. Welcome. Uh, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Sí. Okay. ¿Se escucha oh, bien? Nice. ¿Se escucha nice? ¿Se escucha bien? Yes, sí. Yes, very good. Okay. Solo tengo una observación. Veo que la chica Jessica Perez tiene su cámara apagada. ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es la, la regla de la clase? ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es la regla de la clase con la cámara? Camera always on. Thank you. Thank you, Lenny. Camera always on. Jessica Perez. Jessica Perez. Ana Yesenia, no cameras off, please. No cameras off, please. Thank you, Ana. Nice to see you. Hello. Eh, solo estamos esperando que Jessica Perez turn on your computer camera, please. No cameras off. Okay, tal vez ni está ahí. All right. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to be with you on this beautiful Wednesday evening. It has been a very, very good day, very productive. Uh, how are you today? How are you today? One by one, or? Oh, in general, in general. Ooh, a good day. I feel a little sick. Oh, you feel sick? <laughs> yeah, was... oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. What, what do you feel? You have the sniffles? I have a headache. Oh, a headache. Oh, that's terrible. Headache. I'm so sorry to hear that, my young brother. Okay, you need to relax and you need to enjoy yeah. life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, who can tell me, uh, Enrique Ortega, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember? Uh, I remember um, the, the verb with the, the question with using the deal. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes correct. Um, correct. Can you give me an example? Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Mm -hmm. Neida Santos. Let's applaud the end. Yeah. Okay. And um, can you give me an example okay, with yeah. the question with did? Can you give me an example? Kelvin Hernan, cameras yes, on. Gerson Amaya, cameras I, on. No cameras I, off. I, I have done. Yes, Enrique, lo escucho. Give me a Hello? example. Oh, okay, okay. So, Give me an example. Okay. Okay. With, I have my example. Okay. Yeah. When, when, when did you, when did you visit this country? Okay, very good. Where, when did you when, visit? When, 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 when did you visit this country? Okay, when did you when? visit this country? Excellent. And I, and this country, uh-huh. And where did you, where, where did you went yesterday? Ah, where did you went yesterday or where? Where did you go went yesterday? Today? No, where? 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 
Did. Where did you went yesterday? No, 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 no. You no. went yesterday. No, 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 no. no? Uh, remember, remember, guys, that when you are uh, using the auxiliary mm -hmm. did, the verb is in the base form. Okay? Oh, That's perfect. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. If I say to you, where did... I'm going to use the verb in the base form. For example, let me give you an example. Oh, if I say to oh, you, okay. if I, eh, ¿quién dice que no escucha nada? Eh, Neida Santos, ¿no escucha? ¿Me escucha Neida? Sí, okay. Eh, if I say to you, for example, here, I say to you, I say, where where did, mm -hmm. did you, you go yesterday? You go. Oh. Uh -huh. So I uh, want you to notice. The, I, the verb is present. That is correct. I want you to notice that the okay. verb, verb right here the verb is, is present. base form. Okay. So if I say to you, oh, can you okay. use this ayer? What mm -hmm. did you eat yesterday? Yesterday. So in this case, uh, the verb, as you can see here, mm -hmm. the verb is eat, uh -huh. base form. All right? Eat, yes. Uh, que okay. Is this a year? All right, thank you. What mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. You do you yesterday. Do. Yesterday. That's right. So I want you to notice mm -hmm. that the okay. verb, the verb yeah. is in the base form. Okay? Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Con quién la pasaste okay. ayer? Yeah. ¿Con quién la pasaste ayer? Mm -hmm. Who did you Who did? spend? Your Spend. day with day. yesterday. Con quien la pasaste ayer? Who okay. did you spend your day you with spend? yesterday? And I want you to notice that mm -hmm. the verb is base form. Okay. Yeah, okay. Say to you, con quien hablaste ayer? Yeah. Who mm -hmm. did you? Did speak with speak yesterday. Uh, yesterday, right? Who did you speak with yesterday? Con quien hablaste ayer? So in this yes, case, I have the verb is speak. Okay. Based, based form. Okay. If I say to you, ¿Qué viste ayer en Netflix? What? Mm -hmm. Did you watch what? on Netflix, Netflix yesterday, right? So here I want you to notice mm -hmm. that the pronunciation is, I mean, the verb is in the base form. So I have the, I have the auxiliary verb. I have the auxiliary verb did on in the question. But I want you to notice that the main verb, the main verb go voy a ponerlos en silencio porque se escucha interferencia por ahí. Okay. So here, I want you to notice the verb go, base form, eat, base form, do, base form, spend, base form, speak, base form, and watch, base form. So at this moment, I want you to copy the questions in your notebook. Copy the questions in your notebook at this moment, please. Uh, I can see that I have two people that have a question. Uh, I have 
Uh, Zuleima, raise your hand. Yes, Zuleima, what is your question? Teacher, in the answer, change the verb in no, past. No, no, no. In the answer, I'm going to say, okay, first ask Mr. Santos the question. Where did you go yesterday? Ask Mr. Santos the question. Go ahead, Suleima. You can ask okay. Mr. Santos the question. Where did, Where you, did go? you go yesterday? All right, so I, I am going to respond. I went to the bank. What is the verb? Went. Went. So in the response, I don't have the auxiliary did. So the verb is simple past. Okay. The next question, please, uh, Zuleima. What did you eat yesterday? I can't remember. Um, oh, I am on a diet. So I ate tuna and veg. Do you know what is tuna? 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 Yes. Sorry. What is tuna? It's a... I don't a know. Tung. It's a... A tung. A tung. That's right. A tung. Uh, that is tuna. I ate tuna and vegetables. Okay. Go ahead, Zuleima. Ask Mr. Santos the next question. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Uh, I worked uh, worked out worked out and read my Bible. All right, the next question, Zulema. What did you, what did you, who did you spend your day with yesterday? I spent my day with my son to Rockweilers and my son's grandmother. Grandmother. The next question, Zuleima. Who did you speak with yesterday? I spoke with my mom in LA. Next question, Zuleima. What did you watch of Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch Netflix yesterday because I didn't no I have I have Netflix um, I, I have Max Prime I have YouTube premium but um, I don't have time because I didn't have time. time all right so at this moment I would like for everybody to please copy the examples in your notebook. Please copy the examples in your notebook. Uh, I can see that Lenny, you have a question. Lenny, what is your question? Uh, my question is um, about uh, uh, the four and the five. Uh, who did you spend your day that with? With. 
that word with with i use when i refer a person a third person that's right that's right for example i say con quien vives who do you live with con quien trabajas uh, who do you work with con quien haces ejercicio who do you exercise with okay thank you yes of course is everybody finished are you finished no okay please finish i finish okay thank you Uh, Jessica Perez, no cameras off. Jessica Perez, Rodrigo Martinez, no cameras off. Nestor, no cameras off. Oh, teacher. Okay, is everybody finished? Yes. Yes? Is everybody finished? Yes? Okay. Now, what I want everybody to do is I would like for you to work in pairs and I would like for you to practice the conversation. One student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the question and then vice versa do you understand do you understand enrique okay sir. enrique you look confused no lo escucho enrique tienen silencio el micrófono is is the same questions yes please Yes, please. Okay. The same question. Okay. First, you will ask mm -hmm. the question, All right. and the other student is going to respond to the question, and then okay. the other student will ask you the question, and you are going to respond to the questions. Any questions? No, it's okay. Does, it, does anybody have any questions about the questions? I said, does anybody have any questions about the questions? Somebody have a no, question no. about the questions? Nobody has any questions about the questions. All right. Are you, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Does anybody have any questions about the questions? <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke. Don't be serious. Acuérdense que entre más serio está y más estresado está, más difícil será esto. So it's okay to have a joke, laugh, hee hee, enjoy. Okay, relax. Entre más relajado está, mucho más será mejor su aprendizaje. Let's go. Five minute practice. C 
si ya termina, vuelvo a repetir. Y si termina, vuelvo a repetir. Y si termina, vuelvo a repetir. Cuando regresemos, lo van a hacer a capela, sin, sin ver las preguntas y sin ver las respuestas. De memoria. Vámonos. Celia no ha entrado a su pareja. Richard Martínez no entró con su pareja.
Okay. Now I would like two volunteers. Let me have two. Yo, guardes, Lenny. Se va a tragar la cámara. Let me. <laughs> Han visto, esa cari han, han visto en Nintendo Wii la caricatura Kirby. Her Kirby, creo que se llama Kirby, que le hace... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel sick, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, brother, it's okay, I understand. Okay, um, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Who wants to be a volunteer? Okay, Lenny, volunteer. And one more volunteer. One more. Levante la mano. Raise your hand. Oh, Neida Santos. Okay. I want Neida Santos answer the question. Lenny, ask the question. The microphone. Uh, turn on, turn on the microphone, okay. Neda. Turn on the microphone, please. Uh, Any question? Uh, no, the questions that you practice right now. Okay. Uh, what did you do yesterday? Who did you spend your time with yesterday? The questions from yes, from the one. Oh, you see? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Neda. Yeah. Okay. Action. In order? Yes, please. Okay. Um, where did you go yesterday? I'm I'm going to work and the super and do my brother. Ah, okay. Do you say I am going to work or mm -hmm. I went to work? I went. That's right. I went. I, I went, went to, to work. work. Okay. I visited my brother. ¿Y cuál era la otra? Super. I went grocery shopping. Shopping. Okay. Grocery. Grocery shopping es el super. Lo que nosotros super. decimos el super, las compras del super, eso es groceries, right? Tomate, cebolla, whisky. Dinero. Pensó que grocería le decía. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no Estoy molestando, tranquilo, tranquilo. <laughs> ok, continue. Okay, it's a new word. It's a new word. Grocery shopping. Ajá, uh -huh. grocery shopping is basically el super. Ok. Ok. Go ahead. Continue. Uh, I ask a question. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, what did you eat yesterday? I I went. No. Oh no! I eat. Uh uh. No. I ate. Ate. I very ate. good. I ate. I ate. I ate chicken, salad, vegetables, mm -hmm. eggs, water. Oh. Only that. Ah, and pupusas. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. My <laughs> Delicious. It's the best. Yes, especially from Oloquilta. Oh awesome. my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. delicate. Rice. That is delicate. Is the rice is the best? Yes. Okay. Next question, Lenny. What did you do this yesterday? What What did you? Do? No. Uh huh. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I work. Is correct? Yes, I worked. I work. I do exercise. I do, I'm cleaning the house. No. I, I do. Oh, I, 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 
I I do. Uh -uh. I do is simple present. I did. I work. I did. Very good, I Lenny. Did. I did exercise. Exercise. Yeah. I did exercise. I did exercise. Okay. Continue. Mm, uh, that. Who did you spend your day with yesterday? With my pets. <laughs> okay. With with my pets. I'm sorry. It's short, it's short. <laughs> yes. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next sometimes, time, pets. sometimes my I dog need... and cat. Oh, okay. So you have three pets. Uh, it's no, correct. I... A short answer. No, no short answer for this. Uh, WH questions don't have short answers. Only okay. Do, do or did? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. But in this case, it's not short answers. Okay, very good. Okay. Stop, stop right there. All right, applause for Lenny and Nada Santos. Applause. Good job. Um, at this moment. Thank you. Very good. At this moment, um, does anybody have any questions about this information? Do you have any questions? I confused the verbs. That is correct. In Spanish, too. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, well, you got to practice. It's all about practicing, right? The more you practice, the more that you, every day you practice, then it's the same with me. You know, I, I am Salvadorian, 100%. But my all, since I was a little boy, eh, all my environment was English. Eh, in my house, English in my school English, uh, with my friends English, watching TV English, music English, university English, military English, work English. So when I came to El Salvador, my Spanish was no good. Why? Because I never practiced my Spanish. But now I have lived in El Salvador for 10 years. Ahora hablo español perfectamente. No le voy a decir que lo hablo eh, al 100%, pero eh, lo domino mucho más de cuando llegué al país. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque yo soy salvadoreño, pero como yo no eh, practicaba español para nada, no lo necesitaba. So, cuando vine aquí, yo iba a la tiendita y le decía a la señora, eh, disculpe, eh, me da un Gatorade y unos Doritos. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Qué quiere? Eh, por favor, un Gatorade y unos Doritos. ¿Qué es eso, bo? ¿Qué es eso, bo? The lady would say to her husband, ¿Qué es eso, bo? And then her husband would say, Decirle que no hay, decirle que no hay. Y yo viendo el producto. You know? <laughs> and then I would, I would say, no, el, el, el fresco anaranjado. Ah, un gaitorate. Yeah, yeah, give me a gaitorate, por favor. Y the, the, then I would say, y me da un Dorito. No, 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 aquí no hay Dorito. Y yo sí, mire, la bolsita anaranjada. Ah, un churro. Like, yeah, un churro, <laughs> a churro right there, <laughs> you know, so it was crazy, it was crazy, or or sometimes um, I would use expressions that people would think, you know, because I, I would say, hey, me siento deshidrado, and my, my family is like, what, what, and I was like, me siento deshidrado, you know, because I, I, I want some water, right? And then it was deshidratado. And I was like, oh, okay, sorry, deshidratado. 
y, y you know, <risa> yeah, crazy. O si, no, o si no le decía, como aquí usamos la, la, la expresión ubicación, right? ¿Cuál es la ubicación del, del local? Y en inglés, you say location, right? Location quiere decir ubicación. So, cuando me llamaban a la entrevista de trabajo, yo le decía, eh, disculpe, ¿y a dónde está la, locali la, la localización? And they're like, what? Sí, ¿a dónde queda la localización? Mm, localización. Sí, ¿a dónde está el lugar? Ah, ¿dónde estamos ubicados? Yeah, that's right. ¿Dónde están ubicados? So, uh, it, was, it was a very, it was a transition for me because I never practiced Spanish. Or, for example, I was watching Sangre Vision and I would listen to the, the reporter, right? Uh, aquí, la reportera, blah, 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 soy a pango, blah, 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 Univision. And I only understood, soy a pango, Univision. That's it. I, I didn't understand anything else because I never practiced. My, my brain, my channel what, was not tuned for Spanish, only for English. English music, English movies, English conversations, uh, everything was in English, right? So the same way with you, you have to create an environment of full English when you are watching TV, when you're reading, when you're listening to music, uh, when you're talking to your friends, you have to obligate yourself, tener que obligarte, right, to do it. Because if you don't, you're not going to improve. Okay, now I would like for us, Jessica Perez, turn on your camera, please. Now we are going to be looking at a video. Everybody, please listen to the video at this moment. I'm going to put you in silence. And I would like for all of you to please watch the video. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule and that's the birth to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept. And that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina, they were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in 
Argentina. Okay. And then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China. Right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where. And in our negative statements, that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina. And of course, we can say you. And this will be in its negative form. So this will be, you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born. And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil, I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China, I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. All right, guys. Now what we're going to do for this activity is I would like for you to make a positive and negative sentence. For example, I lived in Houston, Texas. I lived in Houston, Texas. Yo vivía in Houston, Texas. I didn't live in Los Angeles. California. Okay. Uh, I was in the US US Army. I wasn't in the U.S. Air Force. I worked in a in a university. I worked in a university, trabajaba en una universidad. I didn't, I didn't, D-I-D, -I, I didn't work 
in a mall. Ok, so vamos a hacer ejemplos positive y negative. Do you understand? In the past. Vamos a hacer 10 ejemplos en el pasado. Positive, negative. Like the examples. Do you see the examples? Everybody repeat please. I lived in Houston, Texas. I live in Houston, Houston, Texas. Texas. Okay, I want you to listen to the pronunciation. I okay. lived. I, I lived. lived. So I want I you. Lived. To, I, I want. Lived. I want you to notice the d. I, I lived. lived. I lived. I lived in Houston, Texas. I, lived. I didn't. I lived. In, I, I didn't, didn't. I live didn't. in Los Angeles. Didn't. Right? I was in the U.S. Army. I was in the U.S. Army. I was in the U.S. Air Force. It was in the U.S. Army. I worked in a university. I worked in a university. I didn't work in a mall. I didn't work in a mall. Okay, so you're going to give five examples. Five positive e and five negative in pairs, in pairs. Five positive and five negative in pairs. Let's go. In the past.
trabajo. Ay, <risa> wow. Ajá, I work. Pero no sé si I son work. las mismas preguntas. Yo creo que sí, sería, o sea, tipo, hacer lo mismo, Ajá, creo. Sí, sí. sí, entonces, no, no, I work. Eso es lo que hicimos, como todo es pasado, ¿verdad? Sería Ajá. el pasado positivo, el pasado negativo. Sería, I work in... Un lugar que haya trabajado antes, que ahorita, o cualquier lugar podemos inventar. Ajá. Una comercial. ¿Y cómo se, comer, cómo se diría comercial? Ahí no. O sea, Mejor pongámosle supermarket. Ajá. I work in a, I work in a supermarket. Market. Uh -huh. I didn't work in In the story. Está bien. Hola, podemos. Sí, en the story. ¿Cuál es la otra? Que puso que I was in the USA, US, US Army. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. podemos ponerle que. Que lo ven. ¿Dónde podemos estar? I was, I was in the school. ¿Dónde ya lo pusimos? Podemos ponerle, por ejemplo, en negativo, I was in, in a foundation, que no estuvimos en una fundación. En, en negativo. Uh -huh. I, wa I was in... In a foundation. Foundation. Fundación. Fundación. Ajá, sí se escribe fundación. Ajá, foundation. Pero, ¿dónde estuvimos? Sí, algo relacionado. Por ejemplo, a un grupo de baile, algo así. Yo no he estado, pero podemos ponerlo así de como. Jim. Ajá, pero I love I was Ajá, me too. I love it. Like I gym. miss you. I <laughs> miss you the gym. <laughs> I have a I have a little gym in my house. I'm going to show you my gym. Pero voy a voy a quitar la grabación porque voy a pausar la grabación. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, it's time to go. The microphone teacher. No se le oye. Ok, guys, ya hemos terminado. Okay. Eh, ya son las nueve. I gotta go. Tengo otra clase que me está esperando. Así que un gusto para compartir con ustedes. Ánimos. Acuérdense, yo estoy pendiente. No sé si recibieron el mensaje que les mandé ahora en la mañana que les dije que, que estaba conectado y nadie me preguntó nada. Y yo aquí sentado esperando, ¿verdad? Viene Navidad, yo sin ti. Así que, por favor. Perdón, yo, yo vi el mensaje, pero creí que solamente era, eh, lo estaban enviando por Zoom, así. No, no, no. Tomorrow no, no. le voy a... No, I have a question for tomorrow, teacher. Ok, no, no, no. Usted cuando yo le mande este mensaje, usted tiene que preguntarme, teacher, estoy en esta sección, teacher, ¿qué voy a hacer acá? O sea, para eso estoy aquí, ok. Si lo mandan al grupo, digamos que usted lo manda al grupo y yo no le respondo, es que por veces no me meto mucho en los grupos porque son más, son más cosas administrativas, cosas de apoyo técnico, 
pero si usted tiene algo como académico ya que tiene que ver con la clase, la clase en sí, eh, le prefiero que me lo escriba a mí personalmente. Mire, teacher, fíjese que estoy en actividad eh, 3.2. Pues la verdad, ya traté de poner la respuesta aquí, así, así, y no me la agarra. ¿Me puede ayudar? Y en ese caso, yo con mucho gusto. Pero si usted me escribe, me pone, teacher, no entro, no puedo entrar a la plataforma. Eh, teacher, no me agarra la plataforma. Hay cuestiones así de allá, cosas técnicas. Yo, yo sí no tengo acceso a eso. Yo no puedo darle acceso ni quitarle acceso. Así que allí sí les voy a fallar. Pero si usted me pregunta ya algo académico, y yo con mucho gusto le voy a apoyar. Ok, guys. Good night. Ok. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.